Hey gamers, it's the Mandor Fool. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we got through the... I don't actually know. Um, in this episode, let's check the files first. Alright, we're going to want to copy this file to this file. And then copy day 29 to day 27. All right. I'm going to start day 29. Here we go. So, we're pretty much done with the perplexing pool. We have a few above ground treasures to get to here. Uh, we are 100% done in the awakening wood. Uh, the Wistful Wilds. Um, but we will be entering the Dream Den later, so from here on out, it's going to be mainly um, above ground treasures. So let's go back to the Valley of Repose and see what we can do there. Because I'm curious. I'm curious on what we can do. that um, a lot of the Wii systems or the Wii um, compatible hardwares will be closing down um, soon. Such as, uh, what is it? The voting channel, uh, some of the weather services I think, I'm not really sure about that. A lot of major um, Nintendo services will be closing. Um, soon because the Wii U is a new console. So for about maybe another five or six more years, they're going to have Wii hardware, and then the Wii U will have already set in um, into the culture. So I, I don't know how it's going to go, but hope it goes well. Um, I'm looking for above ground treasure. Cannon larva. Water temples, I don't really care about this. Oh, there is a treasure over here on this little patch of sidewalk. So, let's do this. Kill a water temple. Kill another water temple. Um, they're attacking these pellet posies, which I didn't want them to, but they're already doing it, so... Let's keep going. Most of them are flowers, so we're pretty good, but I'm gonna get some nectar up here, if that's okay with you guys. Alright. Well, we still have some flowers in there, but there's not much that I can do about that, so... Um, we're going to be leaving base, I know where I'm at, um, hold on, okay, my map is slipped around, I know where we're at now, alright, we'll be back for the remains later, we'll do that much later. Um, if you're playing the Wii version, the graphics have been enhanced greatly, but it's still the same gameplay, just with a, a Wii remote control, 
better than a GameCube control, but the uh, pointer is great for real-time strategy as Trigger Converse mentioned before. You can actually, um, with the Wii Remote, you can actually position the pointer where you want and use the joystick to basically move around. So it's you can move much more freely in the Wii version. Of the Wii Pikmin games have more control, I guess, with the pointer. And I guess with the new gamepad, it's going to be much more interactive than what it used to be. There's a boulder coming our way. Yeah. We already got that treasure. Glittery Blowhog. I'm going to check the map. Olimar happens to be on the other side. So this is where the subterranean complex was. We passed that. We don't need to be over here. We lost a few reds. Um, I'm not going to lie about that. I did pretty bad. Alright, we got past that guy. Good, good. Alright. Let's get away from him. Alright, so what we want to do is take these reds. There's still a Pikmin fighting over there, I think. I don't know, somewhere. We want to take these reds, and I don't... That's the pothole back at base. We want to have our reds waiting over here. And have our blues over here. And we are actually going to want to lure this thing. If we had a purple potion, it would be much easier, but not. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on. Where's he? Oh, I think what I have to do is throw reds onto the... So I'll have the blues carry the remains back. Because it doesn't look as if we're going to be able to do this with anything else. Let's try this. I'll just whistle them. Whistle my reds, whistle my reds, whistle my reds, whistle my reds. And, um, the water dump pool is about to get over, so let me attack this thing. Alright. I am going to take all my red pigment into the water and whistle them as fast as I can. I don't recommend using this strategy. You should use red Pikmin with a purple potion, but I do not have purple potion, so this is the best I could do for now. Fighting fiery Bulblax. And I think it's done. Alright. Let's get the treasure back. Um, reds cannot carry things through water, so, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to have to use the same strategy to get my reds back. Got most of them back. And then, use, we lost about four reds at a time. And then use the same strategy to get my reds back over here. We're going to carry this back to base as fast as we can. I don't think that's going to be easy. So let's take out this cannon larva. I'm going to use a captain to do that. Take out cannon larva. Oh, this is difficult. What the hell? Come on. beatings and this thing is dead practically so um, you can actually have this thing kill itself which is not cool but it is a good strategy so oh took a large hit there alright I'm gonna have my pigment 
kill this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have my Pikmin do it. Um, we're gonna take as many Pikmin as we can and just bum rush this thing. I have 20% battery, so hold on. Okay. Just died. Good, good. So, um, let me get my blue Pikmin. Um, oh no, just my blues. And we're gonna get that above ground treasure. There it is. How many do you mean? 30? What? I don't have 30 blue Pikmin. Alright, um, how far is base? Hold on. I'm gonna have to run back. I think I can do it. I'm gonna do it. So we're on the last quarter of the day here, so. There's a snag grid, I don't really care. I don't care at all, okay? So, Alright. This thing out. The blues out. That sounds very suggestive. Of course they're all leaves. Can't be fishing. Um take back those remains. Snagger is out. Okay. Alright, let's try to get this thing back before the end of the day. Come on, guys. We have about three minutes to do this. I'm not very uh, fond about that either. So, Alright, where are we at? The president is the next left. Blues burned. Can't do anything about that. I have to wait for them to, you know, get to me. So all right. Uh, this blue pellet. I think we're gonna leave it behind. We can't really do anything about that. Um, these remains, though. I'm going to take back as many remains as I can uh, to base before we leave. Right. Here we go, back to base. Uh, we might not Well, I hope we can get past the ball board. If you can't get past the ball board, you shouldn't be playing Pikmin. Let's put it that way. Got some blues. That's good. I'm going to harvest... Uh, these pellets grew back. I'm going to harvest those. Alright. Treasure should be back soon. Oh boy. The 10 second count is about to start. Where is that treasure? It's almost a base. It's almost a base. I don't think we're going to be able to kill that bull orb today, maybe another day, but not today. <laughs> Hurry, gather your Pikmin. I'm going to take out the max number. I don't want to pick any more Pikmin. Alright, here we go. We got the treasure back to base. We got a Nintendo stopwatch. Temporal mechanism. 
All right. Put away all our Pikmin's. You know what? Let's have a classic end of the day scene. I want to try that with every color of Pikmin we can. Maybe we can do this. Let's get the yellows out too. Also, ninety-one. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Uh, but I want to take a look at the Pickwikipedia really quickly and look at some entries. Um, if you have any comments or responses to what you want me to look at, um, or if you care, uh, set, subscribe and I will personally answer your messages. How about that from now on? All of our notes The Lesser Spotted Jelly Float, Cephalus, ugh, Dotalum, Jelly Float Family. This native jelly float is indigenous to the region. Unfortunately, it's currently endangered and its habitat is being overwhelmed by hostile immigrant species. Let's read Karini Dirigi Bug. Karini Dirigi Bug, Flotillum circus maximus, Dirigi Bug family. Creature floats effort effortless, Jesus Christ. Effortlessly, effortlessly through the air using gas-filled balloons. Both its appearance and nature are anti antagonistic. It is hold on. It is the only variant of its species in its ecosystem. It may be the best to consider the possibility that somehow it somehow wandered into the ecosystem from an entirely alien one. Positive proof does not exist at this point, but it is how the creature currently is classified. The Hermit Cromad. Let's throw some picture carrots at it. All of our notes. Hermit Cromad. Cromaberis rustica. Cromad family. <laughs> Looking at the eyes and sickle shaped legs, characteristics of squillas, and would think a squilla relative. I think <laughs> it's a relative of the hermit crab, but its species, however, has migrated from seaside life into a shell and said that habits, uh, habitats burrows in the ground which legs appear sickle like and our pincers have evolved into a thin shape okay the beast feeds on small creatures that, that pass by its lair dragging them inside to eat them that is pretty gruesome the metites so the metites these are basically um bed mites that have evolved to a larger size where they have a uh, well not really bed mites but just mites that have evolved from a smaller uh stature i guess they don't really eat the pikmin they just scare them i guess and i think they can't kill them a shearwig Shearwig, Hemigia volaris, mandibular family. Unusual for its genus, flying mandibulars have retained their wings. However, the adult males of this species can fly. Females in this species spend so most of their lifespan underground. They do not emerge for ah a period after maturation to spawn, but never metamorphose. Okay. 
Okay. I want to look at an interesting one. Um, how about the hairy... No, no, no. The orange bulb orb. How to cook it. The bulb orb meaty flanks make such a salacious flavor. Steaks shouldn't be missed. Let's read Louis' notes. You have to have completed the game at least once to get these notes. And let me clarify the image there. Um... I think I'm going to cut the video here, but I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoy my videos, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.